In a previous episode, I discussed what syringomas are, and I mentioned they're not related to acne or to pimples, and that no topical treatment actually works to make them better. So today, I'm going to tell you how I treat them. Hello, I'm Dr. Neil Schultz, and welcome to Durham TV. So syringomas, let me remind you what they look like. Usually the color could be white, yellow, or even skin colored. And the shape can be round or oval. And the surface, sometimes flat topped, sometimes dome shaped. I have to say, I was so surprised by the huge interest so many people expressed in syringomas. An awful lot of people asked me questions. And believe it or not, a lot of people actually came to see me for treatment. So today, I'm going to tell you how I approach them and then how I actually treat them. First, obviously, I have to examine the patient and decide, are these lesions syringomas? A lot of them are really obvious, but if I'm not certain, I do a biopsy, since there's no point in treating something as a syringoma if it's not. So I use local anesthesia, tiny injection, um, and I remove one or two syringomas, send them to the lab. Of course, I get a report. And by the way, a lot of patients who come to see me, they've already seen other derms, and some of those people actually have had the biopsies done, so they bring me the biopsy reports. That obviously saves time, saves money. Then I usually take some pictures, good close-up pictures, or best I can take, but it's much easier to figure out objectively what kind of improvement somebody has if we have pictures. Then I give the patient a mirror, and the patient and I choose two or three groups of clustered syringomas. Each cluster has two or three syringomas. Use the same anesthesia, and in those areas, depending on the patient, each group is either treated with one of three treatments. The first one is a special acid, which is called BCA or DCA, but it stands for bichloroacetic acid. And by the way, that's the same acid that I use for sebaceous hyperplasia. Or I use an electric cautery, which is also called an electric needle that a lot of you people have heard of. And lastly, I might surgically remove them. After we're done, I give the patient regular healing ointment. They apply it for three weeks. Three weeks later, they come back to see me. We check healing, and I decide which method worked the best. And depending on how many syringomas the patient has, what the distribution is, everybody's different, then I make a plan to treat the rest of the lesions. I'm happy to tell you, most of my patients really get good improvement. So this is your takeaway. If you have syringomas, see your dermatologist, and see if your dermatologist can do a treatment like this, because I really believe you can get a good improvement when treating syringomas. Please join me again at dermtv.com. If you have a question, please send it to me by visiting dermtv.com slash question. I'm Dr. Neil Schultz, and thank you for watching today.